everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Kristen, this is my booktube. And first things first, I want to apologize for the lack of a video last week. My work life has been very hectic, very crazy, and it's taken a bit of a toll on me uh, mentally. So I was not in a good mental place last week to film a video for you all. I did have part of a video ready to go. I did a spooky painting and I was going to initially turn that into a reading vlog, but that did not work out the way that I wanted it to or intended it to. So I just, for my own mental sanity and to relieve just a little bit of stress off of myself, decided just to not upload last week. And I was very sad about that because this is like my stress relief. It's something that is a creative outlet for me and that does help with stress usually but I just had so much going on that it did not actually help alleviate any of the stress that I had. It just added to it. But all that being said, we are back again this week with a spooky TBR because it is almost October. Spooky season is upon us. And I do have a spooky TBR in store for you today. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive on into it. I am on a bit of a time crunch. I am supposed to be going to brunch in about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and rock and roll, get through this TBR, and then we can officially start celebrating spooky season, which let's be honest, has been what I've been looking forward to since probably about May. <laughs> as soon as summer rolls around, I am just ready for it to be over and I'm ready for it to be fall once again. So my TBR for October is very much in line with the spooky season vibes. I have some thrillers, I have some gothic romances, and just some books that have some either dark academia or spooky vibes, something witchy about them that just make them perfect for the month of October. And the first one on that list is Salem's Lot by Stephen King. So this is my workbook club's pick for the month of October and I'm very excited for it because I've read two Stephen King books before. I've read Misery and The Shining and I really enjoyed both of them. Even though some of the body gore in Misery did get to me a little bit, the story was good enough to where it carried me through the rest of the book. And I've never seen the movie. So the whole time I was reading the book in my head, I was like, oh yeah, no, I can totally see why Kathy Bates won an Oscar for this movie because I could clearly picture her doing everything in the book that her character does in the movie. And I just remember thinking that it was such a perfect casting in that regard. And I really enjoyed the story as well. So I'm very excited to dive into another Stephen King book, this time centering around a spooky house in Maine that has some demonic forces associated with it, question mark. I don't really know anything about it other than the brief summary that we read in my book club. So this should be a fun book to dive into in the first part of October. Next up, I have The X-Hex. I thought it would be kind of fun to sprinkle in a couple of these kind of Halloween themed romances. There are a couple in this same vein and I did pick out two different ones to actually put on my TBR and then we'll see, I may end up reading some more of them. I know that there are quite a few books like this, so if this ends up being something that I really do enjoy, I do believe that this specific author and other authors have books that are similar. In that same vein, I also have This Spells Love, which is one of my book of the month books. It's in another room. I'm not gonna get up and go get it, but I do physically own it. I just thought it would be nice to have those two romances in the month of October to kind of break up any of the thrillers that I read or maybe some things that are a little scarier than I bargained for. Cough, cough, Salem's Lot. I don't know how scared I'm gonna get during that book, but we now have some Halloween romances to cleanse the palate if I do get a little too scared with Salem's Lot. Next up, we have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I have read this book in the past. I actually read it before the second book in the series, Hellbent, came out a couple years ago. So now that Hellbent has been out for a minute, I really want to read it, but I also do not remember a lot of Ninth House because I've read a lot of books since then. So I figured, 
let's just go ahead and do a reread of Ninth House. I enjoyed that book. I thought it was really well done. So let's go ahead and just give it a reread so that I can also read Hellbent. This book centers on our main character. Her name is Galaxy, but she goes by Alex and she is a student at Yale. And in this fantasy book, the secret societies at Yale that are a real thing also possess magical powers. They can like summon the dead and communicate with the dead, tell the future, that kind of thing. If I remember right, I think that different secret societies have different magical capabilities. And Galaxy is very important to these secret societies because she can see dead people. She can see ghosts. So Galaxy is going to Yale, working with these secret societies with her ability to see ghosts slash dead people. And that is what I can remember of the main plot of this book. Clearly it's been a while since I've read it, so this will be a warranted reread for me. Then the last book I have on my October TBR is Phantasma. So this is another book of the month book that I do own, and I believe I got it for my September book. And I mean, just look at the cover. The cover looks absolutely gorgeous. So yes, I did judge a book by its cover and I did purchase it mostly because of the cover. I did read the synopsis though before I just like threw it in my cart. This is another romance type book, but I would I would say the vibes that I get for it are more like a gothic or dark academia romance, more so than the more comedic kind of romance that I would expect for something like the X-Hex. So it's kind of similar, but a little different than the other romances that I have previously mentioned on this list. But the cover just really drew me in. I think that the cover is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm very interested to read this book. It is very highly rated on Goodreads. I believe it had about a 4.4 star average the last time that I looked. So I think that this book will be another good palette cleanser for me if I need it somewhere down the road in the month of October. So that's pretty much it for the specific titles on my TBR for October. There are some other authors that I would like to read. Like for example, I generally like to read at least one Edgar Allan Poe story around Halloween. I don't always track all of them because like I'm not gonna track poems and stuff on Goodreads, but they do help get me in the mood for Halloween. So I really like doing that as well. In the past, I think I've read The Pit and the Pendulum, The Fall of the House of Usher, Telltale Heart, Eleonora, Annabelle Lee, just some smaller bite-sized stories to get me in the mood for Halloween and spooky season overall. I would also potentially like to read Wicked, but I didn't specifically put it on my TBR because I don't know how committed I am to actually doing that before the movie comes out because I will be going to see the movie. That's for sure. And I have heard that the movie is based more on the book than it is on the play. So I think it would be fun to read the book before going to see part one of that movie. If you didn't know, split into part one and part two. Be mentally prepared if you're going to see it in November because they're not really advertising that. But it is split into two parts. And part one is coming out this November. Wicked is also a book that I do own, so I have it physically if I do want to sit down and read it. But let's be real, if I do end up committing to actually reading the book, I'll probably listen to the audiobook instead. I do also remember seeing while I was out shopping at Target the other day that apparently Ruth Ware has a new book. So there are also some more new thrillers that I could check out as well from some of my favorite authors. But I'm not strictly set on any particular thriller right now. So yeah, in general, the vibes for October are spooky, creepy, horror, thriller, romance, witches, and just fantasy in general. So yeah, we have a lot going on in the month of October. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm also still reading Throne of Glass. That's uh, an ongoing task, so forgive me for forgetting to mention that. I'm still on Assassin's Blade at this point, and I have not been good about sitting down and making headway in that, so that will also be something that I need to work on in October. I am also going on vacation in October, so hopefully that will give me a good amount of downtime to relax and do some reading when I don't have a million things going on in my mind related to work and also regular life problems. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my October TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't really know what to do with the painting footage that I filmed last week, so I think I'm just gonna end this video with a little time-lapse of me 
painting a spooky painting to help get us in the mood for October. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like down below. Let me know. You should also subscribe while you're down there because I put out new videos every single weekend, for the most part, as long as I don't have other life things that are causing me to spiral mentally, but we try our best. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Enjoy the clips of me painting this spooky painting and next time we talk, it will officially be spooky season. See you guys next week. Bye.